Hi everyone. This video is primarily made and targeted for those of you who have recently joined Sensi Grace Adele and Hamada. My name is Ryan Clements. Megan Clements, uh, my wife and I, are likely your upline superstar directors. We've been in this business since it came to Canada. We love this business. We both do it full time. Megan has been able to leave her career as a social worker. I've been able to leave my career as a lawyer and we haven't been impacted. We make the same amount of money. We work from home. We are fulfilled. We love it. We love this business. And we love it so much that we want to share with you strategies and as much as we can to help you. Okay. And the strategies and tips I'm going to share on this particular video apply to even us. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be superstar director. You can be just starting out. The strategies that I'm going to share apply. Megan and I, a little while ago, were sitting down and we were analyzing our business over the years and we asked ourselves the question, with the people who signed up early on and, and stopped for whatever reason, and we looked at all those people and we said, are, are there similarities with some of these people? And, and in their, you know, and they're not building the business to the level that they wanted. It, are there similarities? And the answer was yes. And it doesn't mean that every single person had all of these, but there were similarities. And, and I would say these are roadblocks and I want to share these with you right now. So that as you're just getting your business started or no matter where you are in this business, you'll have these in your head. And if you struggle at all with any of them, there's five of them. I'm going to share all five. If you struggle with any of them, please get resources, get assistance as quickly as possible to overcome any of these roadblocks because these roadblocks are going to be hangups for you to build your business to the level that you want it. And I'm just going to talk straight on it. Okay. I'm going to be real. The best thing I could do for you is to be real, to tell you how it is. And I'm going to tell you that these are roadblocks. Okay. There's five of them. Number one, a lot of times people who struggle in network marketing don't believe. They don't believe in the industry. They don't believe in their company. They don't believe in the products and most Importantly, they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in their ability to pull it off. They may look at other people and say, well, she can do it, but deep down inside, I don't know if I can. You have to believe. You have to believe in your ability. If you don't believe, we can help you believe. We can give you strategies to help you to build your belief and to build your faith in this company and this product and, these, and this market, but you have to do it. The belief has to be there. Number two, this one stems from belief. People who don't succeed and get the results they want rarely take consistent action. Okay. There is this principle that is familiar to many of you called the law of the hardest harvest. What you sow is what you're going to reap. If you want a certain output, you need to have a certain input go into it. If you want certain results, you have to take certain actions. If you want to be a superstar director, you have to be willing to pay the price to get there. Okay. You can't, you know, I use this analogy. I have a piano. I love the piano. I've got a wonderful Steinway piano. I like to play, but here's the thing. I can't look, if I was just starting out, I can't look at that piano and think about it, you know, look at it every day as I walk by. And maybe a couple times a month, sit down and tinker a little bit. And then six to eight months goes by and I get mad at that piano and I say, ah, it doesn't work. Well, no, the piano works fine. I just don't work. Okay. You look at any business that's successful. Think of, think of your favorite retail store. The people who started that business hustled it and you have to do the same. If you're going to build this business, you have to work at it. You have to put the input for the output that you want. You have to, it's not going to build itself. You have to build it. Okay. The rewards are fantastic, but you have to be willing to pay the price. Number three, the people who have not built the businesses to the level that they want often don't have clear goals. They have generalities. They live in generalities and that they'd like the business to be bigger. They'd like to have what they see from their superstar directors, but they haven't sat down and written it out and says, I want this by this date. I want this by this date. I want my team to be this size by this date. I want to be this rank by this date. It's rare that they do that. Okay. And some people do, and they still get stopped. And that's going to leave my point four and point five. Okay. But a lot of people don't, they don't have clear and precise goals. Point four is they're too 
easily paralyzed by fear. Okay? You've got to be brave to build this type of a business. Okay? Your immediate friends and your family aren't big enough. Even if you recruited every single one of them, it's very unlikely that that network is big enough alone for you to build your business to the size that you need it to be in order for this to be a sustainable full-time thing for you. You have to be willing to overcome your fears. You have to be willing to go outside of your comfort zone. It is absolutely essential for you to do that. And if you are paralyzed by fear, we can help you. We can give you strategies and resources that help you to overcome that fear. Okay? We can help you with that. Number five, and this one is probably the most important one. Probably the most important one. Because if you say, you get up to this point, you say, well, yeah, you know, I, I believe and I've taken action and I'm, I'm working and I've got clear goals and I'm working to overcome my, my fear, but this just isn't working. Well, this is number five. The people who quit get too easily discouraged. We use the analogy in our trainings all the time of the kid. Kids are the best, okay? Because kids don't know what failure even means. You take a kid who's learning to walk. There's no point where that kid just all of a sudden sits up and says, I've had it with this walking business. This is, this is nonsense. I'm, I'm stopping it. Kids continue until they get the result that they want, until they get the result that they want. And, and us as adults, especially in this business, we don't do that enough. Okay? We set a goal, we charge after it, we may not get it, and then we get frustrated and we start to point fingers at everyone else, the company, the, the consumers, the market. Rarely do we point the finger back at ourselves and say, well, maybe I just didn't take enough action. Or maybe the action that I took wasn't good action. Maybe I need to just reset this whole thing and try again. And maybe I need to get educated. Maybe I need to talk to my superstar director and see what they did. Talk to my sponsor. Maybe I just need to, to rephrase my strategy. Okay, this one is probably the most important one. You cannot get easily discouraged. You have to be resilient. We have designed as superstar directors programs, coaching programs, trainings, group trainings, individualized trainings. We have designed and we are continually designing things to help you against these roadblocks. So get resources. Talk to us. Talk to your sponsor. Talk to your upline director, your upline star director. Talk to us. Just talk to whoever. Do whatever it takes until you get the results you want. And remember these roadblocks. You got to believe. You got to take action. You got to have clear goals. You can't be paralyzed by fear. And you got to keep going until you get the results you want. We're excited to see that happen. We love this business. This is fantastic. And we want you to have the same results that we have. And we're here to help you for that. And we're excited to work with you, and I'll leave that with you. Take care.